Tenakoto. Forecasting the weather is extremely expensive. This top image up here shows a temperature forecast over Banks Peninsula, um, and each of these grid squares are about four kilometers. In order to make this kind of forecast, we have to solve a whole lot of very complex equations in every single one of these grid cells. This is really computationally intensive, requires the use of a lot of supercomputers, and um, in New Zealand, Met Service spend tens of millions of dollars every single year to produce images like the top one. Obviously, it gives us the gist of what's going on, but ideally, we'd love to work with images like this bottom one. This is a 300 meter resolution temperature forecast of Banks Peninsula. And as you can see, it gives us a lot more localized detail of what's happening, and this is particularly important for extreme weather events. For example, if there's gonna be extreme precipitation in one valley versus another valley, that can be the difference between needing to evacuate a, a town or not. Unfortunately, going from this top image up here to the bottom one down here is about 500 times more expensive. So doing that over the whole of New Zealand is completely infeasible, not just for the cost, but also the environmental impact of using these supercomputers for that scale of forecasting. However, I'm currently working with MetService in producing a generative artificial intelligence model that aims to solve this issue. The AI model will learn how to go from the coarse resolution images, like the one I showed you before and this one up here, to, um, and use also some other static details such as topography, and it will learn how to create high resolution forecasts that have a lot more localized detail within them. The outputs will be um, extremely realistic as the AI model is going to be constrained using the physical equations that are used within the dynamic modeling. Um, and it will also hopefully correct some forecast bias as the AI model will learn from not only, resolution, um, not only forecast data, but also real observations. However, the main benefit of this is that the AI model is going to be extremely cheap to run once it has been trained, meaning that we cut out all of that cost that's, you, that's needed for the dynamic modeling in producing high resolution forecasts. This means we can run the model multiple times for every single time step and get slightly different outcomes. And therefore, we're much more likely to pick up extreme weather events and also pick up their locality. Being able to get a whole ensemble of forecasts means we're, um, we are able to, do, uh, to create better weather warnings um, and therefore hopefully save lives and livelihoods across Aotearoa, New Zealand, especially with climate change. Thank you.